Hi, so it's Stephanie Tangway from Motion Concepts, Clinical Education Specialist for Matrix, and I'm uh, gonna, we're going to do a little review now for the Matrix Elite E2 back in the two tallest sizes, the 18 tall and 20 tall, that use the Easy Set hardware, our larger hardware. Which we've talked about, about the value of this for the support and stability. A lot of times these taller backs may be used on a manual or power chair that has tilt or tilt and recline. So we want this, the value of this broader pin span for all that stability. And I just want to show you a quick review of how we have the adjustable range with this hardware. So let's start with the Easy Set hardware for depth and angle adjustment. Because this is a larger bracket, you can see where we have our clamp around the back cane. So this is a larger bracket here, three bolts that hold it on the cane. And then you'll see the three slots here and corresponding three bolts that we have to loosen to get our depth and angle adjustment. So I'm going to loosen these on each side. I, I kind of set this up a little bit to have this be quick for you. And when I, once I loosen that, that's going to allow me to make this, um, this range of adjustment. So I can go forward and aft two inches through that slotting range that, we, that I just pointed out. Um, now, you can see I have the clamp mounted posterior of the back canes. I could invert these clamps and mount this anterior and get two inches forward of the back canes if I needed to, to shorten up seat depth perhaps. But more commonly, people use the, our backs and this type of hardware in the reverse configuration to not lose seat depth. So for our purposes, we have this two inches of depth because the hardware is slotted on both sides, just like we saw with Easy Set, I can do some forward on one side and rear on the other to do a little bit of rotational offset. If we have somebody that has a, a, a little bit more of an asymmetry and rotation with their torso, and I'm going to take the value of this depth to give us the access to doing 20 degrees open to a 20 degrees closed back angle range within this, uh, this range of adjustment here. And so I can make the hardware this loose with the consumer in the chair, fine tune this to the consumer, get the, the, that optimal angle orientation, and I can come back in, I tighten these bolts, all three of these bolts on each side, and that's what sets and locks my angle orientation. And now, Keeping in mind that our Easy Set standard hardware is a quick release hardware that every time I remove and replace the back, it returns to this angle that we've, um, we've now established. So once we've looked at that, the other aspect of angle adjustment that we are, or adjustment that we have with our E2 series hardware is that we still have the same vertical slotting in the back shells as well as the horizontal slotting in the uh, pin interface. Um, and this is how we're going to do our fine tuning for height adjustment, as you'll see. So I'll loosen the, the two bolts on each side um, of that pin interface. And that's a, that's a slightly smaller Allen key that we send in uh, with the hardware. And when I loosen that just enough, I just need it loose enough to, to get it to slide in the slotting here. And you're, you're gonna see my ability to bring the back up as well as down. If I bring this all the way down now, I've, I've got the lower aspect of my back support here. This is an 18 tall back, and I'm almost touching this top of the seat cushion in this particular um, interface uh, arrangement. I wanna be sure typically when I'm doing this fitting to a consumer that I'm setting my back so that the lower aspect is going to support and stabilize the PSIS, the pelvis. Um, and then, depending on where we really need this, I might, I might zero that in and say, oh, I'd like to have a taller back or a shorter back. But to really get an idea of the assessment value here, where I can go all the way up, whatever through the range of the slotting that I have available in each of these backs. The other thing that this allows us to do because of the slotting in the hardware laterally is I can make small um, incremental offsets 
out away from midline. And if I were to use a narrower back, I could do this even a, a more drastic offset away from midline. So you can you have so much more adjustment with the new E2 style of Elite Back and the Elite Deep that we can really zero this in and really fit a back like a glove to the consumer.